Hey guys, uh, I was so excited to wake up to all the messages today um, from the group talking about your goals, why you're here, what your plans are for the next few months. Uh, but I'm gonna take us back today a few steps. I wanna talk about goal setting. Uh, I think it's very easy for a lot of us to get inspired and motivated about life again. And we wanna take on the world. We wanna do it all. This is the year of me. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make this much money. I'm gonna lose this many pounds, blah, 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 right? But we've been here before. I'm certain this is not your first time feeling this. And I'm certain that somewhere along the way in the past, you fell short and you didn't fully execute everything you wanted to, right? So I wanna do an activity with us that's going to help us First of all, figure out what it is we're really craving and aiming for, and then how to do it well. Brandon and I, before we left for tour to this exercise, it came to my mind like the night before we left, and full transparency, we did not wanna go on this tour this year. We just bought a home, we wanted to nest, we were moaning and bitching the whole time leading up to it. And thank God this came to me the night before because we did this exercise I'm about to share with you and it completely transformed us immediately. And we had the best tour of our lives. So I have full faith in this. I did it again last night so that I was prepared for you today. And I had just as much of a great experience last night. I actually couldn't sleep. I'm running on like two hours. So in order to achieve lots of goals, you have to be able to achieve one goal. So, uh, we're going to figure out what our most important goal is. And that's not so easy. I think a lot of you are like, don't worry, I got it, nutrition, losing 15 pounds. Yeah, super easy, I'm good, homework done. No, I'm gonna ask you to slow down a minute because a lot of times what we think we want up here does not actually match what we want in here. It's the reason why a lot of us chase that kind of like, if I can do this, then I'll be happy thing, right? because we're not really linking up these two thoughts. And I'm gonna do that with you by, first and foremost, I want you to make a list of all your goals. I want you to brain dump, okay? And let me be specific. These are your goals for the last quarter of the year. These are not your life goals. These are not things that you wanna accomplish in the next few years. This is very specific to the next 90 days. And I want you to be realistic. This is a hard 90 days we're about to be up against. We've got holidays, we've got candy, we've got family. There's a lot going on, right? So please, as you're doing this, don't set yourself up for failure. Be realistic to who you are and what you feel like you can accomplish. But I do want you to get all of it out on paper. Once you've done that, we're gonna look at the data. Uh, we're not gonna skip this part. We're not gonna assume we know the answers because oftentimes we don't. What we're gonna find as we look at this data is actually there's usually a theme happening in our lives that's a lot deeper than this surface level goal we've set for ourselves. For example, I had written originally, when I first started this thinking, I wanted to be in the best shape of my life. I'm doing my first half marathon in a month. Uh, I feel strong. I, I, I have all these things that make me feel like nutrition and fitness are where my life and my mindset wanna be in the next few months. But after doing this exercise, what I realized is that I'm actually chasing something so much bigger. I apparently want to be an amazing leader. Um, after I looked at these goals, there was this gigantic theme of leadership. It wasn't that I wanted to be in the best shape of my life for me, it was because I wanted to be able to lead by example. This was an amazing revelation for me and one that I actually didn't see coming. I really didn't. Um, and it's empowered me. It's made me feel like every other little goal has so much more value behind it rather than just like, oh, I'm gonna get the best time ever. When I cross the finish line, I'm gonna feel like a rock star and I'm gonna brag on Instagram. It's like, no, it's so much bigger than that. And I'm gonna hold on to that. So what I want you to do after you've done that exercise, I hope that you'll come to a conclusion that is so much bigger than just chasing a number. Um, and when you do, I want you to then pick three top goals, okay? So we have this theme, we know where we're heading now long-term, we know what we're really, really authentically chasing. But now how do we do it? So we're gonna pick our top three. You do get to pick three, um, and three only. Once you've done that, you have to pick the most important one. The one and only. And how do we do that? Sometimes that's really, really hard to pick. 
uh, you wanna like grow in your business. You also wanna be healthy. You wanna be an awesome parent, right? Like those are all really important things, but like how do you pick one? How do you pick which one's most important? I'm gonna tell you, it's actually quite easy. When you write it, when you see it, when you think about it, you're gonna feel a physical change. I know that sounds like totally cheesy, but it's fucking true. You're gonna feel like your stomach is tingly. It's excited. You're gonna like, you're gonna wanna marinate on it a little bit longer. It's gonna pull at you. It is. And that's the one. That is the one that's going to be the one thing you focus on all the way through until you feel like you have conquered it, okay? Once you have done that, everything else is gonna start to snowball. Because once you've learned that you can accomplish from start to finish, one gigantic feeling, you're gonna be empowered. You're gonna feel in control. And let's be fucking real, guys. That's what we're chasing. We're not chasing the scale number because what happens? We get to celebrate, we lost our 15 pounds, woo! There's my post on social, woo! Here's my celebratory shitty dinner, yes! And then what, right? What we're chasing is to feel in charge, to feel powerful, to feel like we have the capabilities to say what we want to do and do it, right? So I want you to spend significant amount of time today and the next few days getting really honest on paper with what it is you're chasing. And we're going to chase that one thing. Now, the other two goals are going to come into play because there are going to be certain days when it's not working for you. You're just not in the mood. Things on all sides of you are telling you to like take a break from this singular focus. That's totally okay, totally normal. That's when we're gonna get to go to the other two goals, right? So for me, I wanna be a great leader. And on days when I feel like, ugh, I'm just like, I'm not there today. I'm gonna focus on goal number two, which is an income-driven goal. And I'm always gonna be doing that in the background a little bit here and there because I have to keep a job, but it's gonna be like a driving force for me when I can't handle goal number one. Does that make sense? It came to me because Brandon, my husband, is he does this songwriting method when he's trying to write music where he has three songs always kind of uh, working at the same time. So he's got one primary song and then when that one's just like not working for him that day, he goes to song number two, song number three. Because what you don't wanna do is feel stuck and unmotivated and just stop. You never wanna just stop. You wanna just be able to move from thing to thing to thing, right? So we have our primary goal, we have our two backup goals. Everything's important, it's all gonna come together, but none of it will get done until you do one of them. So, quick recap. Make a giant list, brain dump all the things you wanna do this quarter. Pick your top three goals after you've re recognized that there's a theme here and a feeling that you're chasing, an experience, not a physical, literal goal. And then you're gonna pick one and you're gonna tell us about it. You're gonna share your singular goal with the rest of the group once you are absolutely sure that's it. Okay.